What's up, right fans? Uh, got out to my trailer today after a few days of it sitting, and I had a uh, two bald spots on one of my dualies. Uh, back here in the back right, so we're gonna get those yanked off and replaced. Heavy trailer, that's for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Both to do it. Yeah, do you see it now? Yeah, kind of, look, you can see them right On the same side, too, huh? Yeah, right across there. So, I wonder if the other one. So, if you see, guys, the tread's real good here. And then all of a sudden, right about here, it just gets real flat. And then it goes right back to good tread again. It's doing the same thing on the other side. So, they were thinking it might be uh, something with the electric brakes, but I don't remember having any issues with pulling and sliding like that. So, I don't know. It's weird. I didn't notice it until I got back from that last last round trip I did. It's crazy. Alright. There's my new my new tires guys. Good years. They look good. I'll be excited to get them all like this eventually. Alright, I'm ready for tomorrow. Guys, I'm back in Flagstaff, picking up a load for Nevada again. So I'm a little pissed off right now. Um, Oh, I can't win for losing. Um, this load was supposed to be 10 feet, 3,600 pounds. So I had a direct customer book a load with me going to, uh, this is going to Nevada. So I was gonna go from Flag, initially I was gonna go from Tucson, pick up for my direct customer, come here to Flagstaff, pick up this, this load here, going to uh, Nevada, deliver in Nevada Saturday, because they wanted it right away, and then be in Washington on Monday for delivery. Um, long story short, direct customer can't be ready until 11. So I had to come to Flagstaff first, and then I was going to go back down south to grab the Tucson load, which was going to create a bunch of stupid miles, but uh, this load was supposed to be 10 feet, 3,600 pounds. Uh, it's going to take about 30 feet of deck. So once again, and this is I've done this load before for the same broker. Last time she screwed me, she told me it was going to be uh, <coughs> 3,000 pounds and it ended up being 6,700. <coughs> but I was new then, and I didn't learn to screenshot the postings on the load boards so I didn't do that uh, this time I did so I'm just pissed off because it's just you know now what was gonna be a uh, $3,500 weekend is gonna turn into a $1,150 weekend so just like that I F myself big time financially um, by trusting a broker I should just stuck to the direct customer load and said screw it and fall off this one. Oh well live and learn uh, hopefully we get it covered I uh, need to find a way to, to, you guys that are watching this, you hotshot guys, especially if you're in the Arizona area, get you uh, hooked up with us so that when situations like this arise, uh, I've got a load for you if you don't have one. Uh, and I'm not taking them unless they pay well, so it would be a good idea if uh, you're interested. Hit me up in the comments below and I'll get you our contact information so you can be a part of that. Freight fans, um, I'll load it up here in Flagstaff. Here's my uh, 10 foot partial. Ready? Remember, I have a 40 foot bed. This is my 10 foot partial. All the way to the ramps. Even had to move my new tarp, which I bought for the other load that I'm now not doing. So that was a waste of, waste of money. Oh, well, I needed to get it eventually anyway. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to hit the road, give a call to my direct customer and apologize for the fact that uh, 
brokers are a bunch of lying assholes and uh, they can't seem to get the shit straight. I'm not working for this chick again. This dude uh, took my, my business card today, so uh, hopefully we'll see. All right, man, he's coming out. I'll talk to you guys later. Yo, freight fans. <clears throat> All right. Uh, wanted to give, give you a little update here uh, so I can kind of explain what's been going on. So you, you know about my off time. So uh, let me catch you up on today. I, you just saw the videos of me getting loaded up, but let me kind of tell you how this all came to be. So yesterday, um, it was just Thursday, I uh, got my truck back, went back home, found the two bald spots on the tire, uh, on the two tires, and uh, went and got those changed out, got some really good ones, and it's amazing. I can actually feel the difference with just those two tires being changed. I can feel it. Probably because I was, it was the other ones with bald spots were making it a little bit bumpy, but I, I can totally feel the difference. So anyway, um, so we've been looking for a load on Thursday for a Friday. You know, I have fresh set hours. It's like, all right, let's do something over the weekend. So uh, one of my direct customers who I, I've run for before uh, in one of my first videos um, has a load going to, to Sumner, Washington. In two miles, um, continue on to I-11 North. Needed, uh, needed tarps, and uh, uh, which I didn't have. Uh, so I went out and bought tarps uh, just so I could have them. I needed it anyway. So I had 22 feet of uh, poles and a couple pallets. So I bought a 27 foot tarp. Um, it was gonna weigh about 4,300 pounds. So we priced it. And actually, I think I priced this thing on Wednesday night. And I, I, I basically told him, because I hadn't run for him since that, that first load I did, and I, I told him, I was like, look, man, what do I got to do? I want to I get back into hauling your stuff. And plus, for me, it just, you know, your profit when you're doing it for a direct customer is so much better. So for me, if I can get out of town with something like that and then just have to rely on the load board coming back, that, that's an ideal scenario for me. So anyway, uh, hadn't heard back from him. Uh, then he, he kind of had written back and uh, let us know how long the freight was going to be on uh, Thursday morning, so we wrote him back, okay, well, does the price work? If so, let us know so we can book it. Well, a couple hours have gone by and nothing. So we found another load, uh, which is another lane that I've run before for the, for this one broker, picking up in Flagstaff, going to uh, West Wendover, Nevada, which is, uh, it's like a mine uh, that I'll be taking this thing to. A uh, real dirty place. My truck's gonna be filthy when I'm done, but whatever. And uh, first time I ran this load, she had told me, you know, it was like 3,500 pounds of freight. Turned out being 6,700. Um, as I told you in that pr prior video, um, I, I back then I was new, didn't screenshot the uh, load board postings, uh, so I didn't have anything to go back on. So um, whatever, it was kind of like you sucked it up. I took that load for 750 bucks. For 35 miles. Uh, my wife straight. found uh, this one, and this time she had it posted for, I think, a thousand bucks, maybe 900. And uh, it's like 660 miles, uh, of which I would have about 180 deadhead from uh, Phoenix up to Flagstaff. So uh, she gets on the phone, they do some negotiating. It's going to be 10 feet long, uh, 3,600 pounds. Uh, my wife gets her to agree on a price of 1150. Um, so now I've, I'm booked, we're good to go on that load. I had to pick it up Friday morning uh, and head out, which is what I'm doing now. Then our customer gets back to us and says, okay, yep, it's a go, book it. Well, now, you know, I'm an hour booked into this other load, so I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, you know what, I can do both. So let's start this day in Tucson. Let's pick up the, uh, the direct customer's load. Let me head to Flagstaff, pick up the Saturday delivery load uh, in Nevada, deliver it on Saturday, and then I'll head straight to Washington and be there Monday morning for the appointment. Piece of cake would have been... Uh, well, what did I say earlier? Like almost $3,500 uh, for a couple of days of work. Uh, would have been one of the better couple of days I've had. Um, well, customer, direct customer is not ready until 11. So Flagstaff is uh, about 250 miles from uh, Tucson. I might be a little understating that. It might be a little bit more like 270. So now it was going to require me to go to Flag pick up, backtrack to Tucson, pick up to backtrack part of that way because you take a different route because you got to go through Vegas, but you basically backtrack in a, an additional 100 miles on top of the Flagstaff back to Tucson. So about 350 miles total of, of backtrack miles. But I was like, all right, I'll do it if we can't get it covered. 
So we had it posted. Uh, we were having some troubles with the posting board. It wasn't posting the price for whatever reason. So we weren't getting um, a whole lot of calls on it. Uh, finally, we got that figured out. But uh, we did finally get somebody to cover it, too, which is awesome. I, I don't know who that company is, but I think it's a hot shot out of Phoenix. So uh, if you happen to watch these, which you probably don't, uh, thank you. Uh, it means a lot to us to, to get that thing covered because that, that customer is important to me. Um, get that thing covered so I didn't have to deadhead. And in addition to that, picking up the flagstaff, as you saw, you know, it's 35 feet of my deck. It's like it's not 10 feet. So, you know, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, obviously I'm rolling, and, but, you know, 35 feet is not 10 feet. Yeah, the weight's there. Yeah, I got you. You're paying you know, a good rate. I mean, you're paying, I think it's two bucks a mile. And it's like, I, I got you. Um, I don't know. It just to me, it's like, I, I've just got an issue with that. You know, if it's not 10 feet and it ends up being 35 feet, I mean, somebody's got to, to pick up the buck on that. And, and unfortunately, I, I have a feeling it's going to end up being me, of course, or, or some truck driver that, that handles load like I am. It's just frustrating, and I don't think that's appropriate. But, you know, what are you going to do? So anyway, that's the story. So I'm heading to uh, West Wendover. Uh, I will deliver this puppy that I've got right now tomorrow morning uh, there, which is Saturday. And then I'll hang out there uh, for the weekend, and I've already got a load booked for Monday uh, just south of Salt Lake, which isn't far from where I'll be, to take me back to Phoenix. Uh, and that one's paying $13.50 for uh, 600 miles, so we're good. Um, I guess it all ended up working out at the end of the day. Uh, the only part I hate is that Saturday night and Sunday night, I'll have to get a hotel because I'm not just going to sit in the truck for two days. Uh, but at least in Wendover there, it's got a little casino town. I guess I'll, I don't know, I'm sure I'll be able to find something that's all right, I guess. So anyway, that's an update I just wanted to give you guys. So uh, that'll probably be it for me for today until you see the delivery tomorrow. So uh, until then, guys, deuces.